Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 37. Now this week we're going to begin a kind of mini series of these videos where we're going to take a look at the autograph extras pages because these are incredibly underused I find and they really are a fantastic extra feature that autograph provides. So the first one, well first let's talk about how we actually find these extras pages. If you just hover up to file and you go to new extras page then you get this whole host of options and the one we're going to look at today is dice simulation and we'll look at some of the others in future weeks so give this a little click and there is my dice simulation page now this is brilliant for when you're um, investigating experimental probability and sample space diagrams and tree diagrams and all this kind of stuff but to start off with instead of looking at two dice I'm going to look at one dice and what I like to do with my students is I like to say okay if I was to roll a dice six times what numbers would you expect to come up so let's change this sample size just down to six and I'm going to create sample and there we go we see we've got two lots of number one uh, one lot of number two no threes unfortunately and so on and then I try and challenge the students to say well why did that happen and would the same happen if we did it again well let's have a look if I just reset that and we'll have one dice and sample size of six create sample mm, and this time still two ones have come out but this time we've got a three and we've got no fours and then I say to the students okay how about if I did this 60 times what would happen would that give us the same kind of results or different kind of results and why would that be so let's have a look let's just reset that one dice 60 times create sample and this time we can see that number three is absolutely flying now the rest are fairly even numbers um, fairly even frequency for those numbers coming up how about 600 times well let's have a look if I just have a little reset one dice 600 times create sample the kids love watching all these bars bouncing up and down and now we can see if we do it 600 times well it's a fairly even spread amongst the numbers and again we can challenge the students to see if they can explain why that's the case which provides a nice little a lead into experimental probability and reliability of results and all that kind of stuff but this extras page has so much more than this again if I hit reset then I can have a look at the classic sum of two dice and we can use this to play the bingo game rolling two dice name your numbers all that kind of stuff if I just start a little sample up here um, again the students tend to think that it's going to be a pretty even distribution but as we can see the numbers in the middle start to appear a lot more than the numbers on the outside and we can ask the students why that why they think that's the case and so on which is pretty good if I just uh, pause that there oh I should say a brilliant feature of this as well is if we get some good data like this and we want to use it in another application like Excel or Office I can just hit copy data and if I just crack open Excel and I just go for a little right click and I go for a paste then all that data gets pasted into Excel or even into autograph and I can do whatever I want with it from there which is a nice little feature um, I should say as well which is quite nice if you want to use it is this little show theory uh, button so if I click that and then autograph works out what um, how many of each number should come up using probability and we can compare that to how many of each number actually has come up and obviously we can see if the bigger the sample size the closer it um, the data matches the theory and so on um, I'll just show you a couple of other things you've also got the classic difference of two dice and I always think this uh, creates quite a nice little uh, distribution which is quite unusual and trying to get these students to explain that which is quite a good one um, and one of my favorites actually is this maximum of two dice because this is one that you don't often see uh, see being used so if you roll two dice you which um, and you record what the biggest number is on either of those two dice this has quite an interesting little uh, distribution which ends up looking something like that and again we can challenge the students to see if they can explain that uh, one extra one at the bottom and this is when autograph gets really really clever it can add together as many dice as you like so if I want to actually roll five dice I wonder what on earth that looks like and you can see as the graph gets produced we get a lovely little normal distribution the more that we roll so there's our first look at one of the autograph extras pages and I find that if you've got uh, teachers who aren't a massive fan of diving into the new technology and maybe a little bit scared of autograph then an extras page provides a nice little route in. Anyway hope that was useful um, and if you're on your summer holidays I hope you have a lovely holiday and I will see you next week. Bye bye.